OK, to the heat wave now and all ambulance services in England are on the highest level of alert. With trusts warning they are under extreme pressure. People are being asked to only call 999 in an emergency ahead of an expected increase in demand. It follows the Met Office's extreme heat warning for the coming weekend and next week and emergency services reminding people to take extra care when swimming in the hot weather. It comes after a teenage boy drowned in West Yorkshire. There's Neil Connery reporting. As the heat wave continues, the body of a teenage boy has been found in this West Yorkshire canal. The discovery followed a search in the air and calder navigation. Alfie McCraw, who was 16, had just finished his GCSEs. Police are warning people of the risks of swimming in dangerous waters. Children are going to be tempted when it's really hot and the forecast is going to be really hot for the next few days to jump into cold water. But there's all sorts of hazards in there, uh, not least the fact that it's cold and you could go into hyperventilation, which causes you to seize. A teenager who died in a separate incident swimming in an abandoned quarry in Apley Bridge in Lancashire at the weekend has been named as Jamie Lewin. His mother said the 16-year-old from Southport was a promising boxer who touched so many people's lives. As the NHS gears up for the effects of possible extreme heat, this East London GP is urging people to take care. The vulnerable groups, as we call them, so that's people with um, heart disease or diabetes, our elderly, and of course our very young, our children and our babies, are more at risk of dehydration. And uh, we know that uh, sadly people with heart disease, when it gets hotter, are more prone to heart attacks. As temperatures rise, drying out the ground, this fire took hold near Dovestone Reservoir in Oldham yesterday. Fire crews worked through the night to put the flames out. The heat wave threatens disruption on the railways. Network Rail says it could introduce temporary speed restrictions at the hottest times to deal with tracks expanding in the heat, which can cause buckling. In South End on Sea, they were doing what they could to keep cool today. What do they make of a possible 40 degrees Celsius early next week? Yesterday I was out in it and I, even I had to go in it and I go after, after a couple of hours. It really was hot yesterday. So I thought we'd come down to the coast, get a bit of a breeze. Going up to 40, so it's like back home like India, <laughs> it's like that. Just keep a bit of sunscreen, just whack it on, just be sensible, isn't it? In the coming days, it's possible the UK may see its highest ever recorded temperature. The threat of extreme heat is getting closer. Well, the planning to deal with the impact of this possible extreme heat, as we know, is already underway. We should get a clear idea with more forecasts in the coming days. But what is clear tonight, I think, is that the alarm bells are ringing very loudly uh, indeed and that the public really do need to pay attention to what they're being told here. All right, Neil, thanks very much. Well, in light of those alarm bells that Neil has been talking about regarding the England's ambulance trusts being on highest level of alert... London is bracing itself for the hottest day on record. The rare amber weather warning issued by the Met Office for Sunday has now been extended to next Monday, where temperatures are likely to reach the high 30s. That could lead to speed restrictions and cancelled trains, as Network Rail says tracks are at risk of buckling. A miserable few days for commuters then, as Simon Harris reports. For tens of thousands of Londoners, travelling by tube goes with the job. Crowded carriages are a daily fact of life. Today's journey to work was even more of an ordeal thanks to the heat wave. In deep tunnels beneath the streets, there's nowhere for the heat to go, so the tube gets warmer and warmer. It's the middle of the day, and in central London at street level, the thermometer currently shows a temperature of just over 31 degrees. But underground, it's a lot warmer. This is the central line where the temperature is currently 34.9. It's too hot, man. It's too hot. They need to do something about the air conditioning on the underground system. It's absolutely fine. But I come from South Africa, so it doesn't really worry me. I come prepared. I don't wear my jacket anymore. <laughs> Above ground, most trains are air conditioned. The heat wave isn't yet severe enough to disrupt timetables. But if over the weekend temperatures soar to the point where tracks are in danger of buckling, Rail bosses may order a blanket go slow. So in extreme circumstances, if we see temperatures of, say, 36 degrees, our, our rail temperatures could be near 50 degrees Celsius. So we have to slow trains down because a slower train will exor exert less force on the rail and that helps us to prevent those buckled rails. 
The heat wave has arrived with perfect timing for London's newest open water venue. Swimmers can now take the plunge at Middle Dock in Canary Wharf, where they're told the water is both clean and safe. It was really fabulous, actually, when you, when you take off and have, when you have a breath and take a look, you've got these amazing buildings right by you. It's actually really special, yeah. I just love swimming and, in particular, open water swimming, so I um, was just really excited to hear there was a new venue opening in London. Perfect way to come and cool off and uh, yeah, enjoy the water. It's nice to have a new venue that's you know, so close. But with a rare amber weather warning issued for Sunday and Monday, there are fears some swimmers might try to cool off in more lethal stretches of water. And what they don't realise, although it's extremely hot outside, that that water could be extremely cold, which when they jump in or dive in, that that may uh, create a shock to their system. At Canary Wharf, the swimming sessions are supervised by lifeguards. If temperatures peak as predicted this weekend, Middle Dock could prove extremely popular. Simon Harris, ITV News. First tonight, the capital continues to cook with temperatures in the 30s today and the mercury is set to remain high all week. With the hot weather, of course, comes the need to find ways to keep cool. But there are safety concerns at some of the stunts being pulled in the heat. Footage has emerged online of people jumping off Tower Bridge into the River Thames, which the emergency services have condemned. The fire brigade has also issued a warning around the risks of open fires. Well, our correspondent Mark Ashdown is in Hyde Park for us this evening. Mark, over to you. Yes, Alice. Well, it's actually clouded over a bit here. A bit of brief respite from all this heat, and it hasn't stopped people coming out today to enjoy these green open spaces. But today, as you say, a reminder of how we should behave in these sort of temperatures, really. It seems some people do let this heat go to their heads and forget basic safety advice around barbecues and clearing up litter after themselves. It is also tempting on a day like today to find somewhere a bit wetter to try and cool down. That, of course, brings a whole new set of safety safety issues. Dangerous and irresponsible, the view of emergency services after four youths jumped from Tower Bridge yesterday evening, as if it even needs saying this is not how to behave in the hot weather. Now the emergency services have condemned the behaviour of those four lads as incredibly stupid. This river is actually extremely dangerous, there are really strong swirling currents around the bridges and of course lots of river traffic, cruises and freight, that sort of thing. And they are very keen that people behave sensibly around water as these temperatures rise. You don't know the depth of the water and you don't know what the cold water is going to do to your body. You could suffer from cold water shock if you go straight into cold water, especially from being warm on days like this. And then you end up panicking in the water because your muscles freeze up, you're swallowing loads of water. It's, it's not good. They've released a water safety video offering a range of simple advice. It comes after a 17-year-old died in East London last week after going for a midnight swim and getting into trouble. The RNLI advises only to swim in areas which have been deemed safe, ideally with a lifeguard close by. Should you find yourself in difficulty, particularly unexpectedly in cold water, then remember our floats message, and that is to fight the instinct to sort of thrash around and swim hard and instead try to relax float on the back, do a bit of gentle paddling and wait for that cold shock response to pass, which it will do in just a few seconds before planning your next move, which might be to shout for help or to swim for safety. If you can't find a bit of safe water to cool down, then there are plenty of tips about how to survive this heat. Between 11 in the morning and 3 in the afternoon, stay cool, stay inside, uh, close the windows and uh, remain cool. Make sure we stay hydrated, so keeping uh, those fluids up, uh, water really important, much more than alcohol or caffeine that doesn't tend to keep us hydrated. Put on sun cream, uh, cover up, wear a hat and just generally stay cool. With temperatures possibly creeping towards 40 degrees at the weekend, the advice is to enjoy the hot spell, but be sensible. And Mark, travelling around in this weather can also be challenging. Yeah, well, of course, irresponsible behaviour can happen on land as well. And the fire service have issued us with more advice today on how to behave in parks like this as well. Uh, firstly, if you are dining al fresco, picnic rather than barbecue. Uh, of course, barbecue is not allowed in a lot of open spaces, but even if you're doing it in your garden, take care. Balconies, the fire brigade is saying, are a big no-no. Uh, secondly, discarded cigarette butts. Uh, they can be a big danger as well. Might sound a bit obvious, but the brigade said they've been to about five 
five pretty reasonable size uh, fires lately so, lately, so they are uh, big fire hazards. Uh, and finally, litter as well, especially uh, bottles, glass bottles. They can, of course, when the sun comes back out, uh, attract the rays and potentially be a fire hazard as well. And getting around London, of course, not that easy either. Well, no, it's not. We see train delays all the time, don't we, in hot weather. The trains, I'm told, often are told to run slowly uh, to reduce the chance of the rails buckling. Uh, some operators, of course, use uh, overhead cables as well. They can have issues with those. Check these pictures out, though. Battersea yesterday, the rails actually caught fire. Uh, we believe this was a spark uh, that caused this track uh, fire. The usual advice, though, check before you travel. Take plenty of water. The message overall in this hot spell is enjoy it. It's not going to last forever of course, but be safe. Absolutely. Mark Ashdown, thanks very much for that.